Well, thanks for visiting us this morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. Some cool weather over the weekend, but we have a nice warming trend in store today. So Monday and Tuesday are going to be absolutely fantastic weather days for us here in the Arkeltex. Big change this week rolls in late Wednesday into Thursday morning. Very strong cold front, and there will be a window here, especially Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, where we could potentially see some strong to severe thunderstorms across the region. Still some uh, question marks about the overall threat here is the forecast model still in decent agreement on the timing but not complete agreement yet but it looks like this may be an overnight threat for us once we get through the middle of the week so enjoy the next uh, day or two here as we'll have some comfortable weather I think today probably turns into uh, what will be the most comfortable weather day of the week starting out in the 30s but we should wind up uh, close to 70 degrees this afternoon what will make today nice pretty light breeze and tomorrow will be a comfortable day as well but it will turn breezy on your Tuesday no weather issues for us today you can see there will be clear skies out there uh, for much of the day and your temperatures in the 30s at sunrise but we do have a few locations in the 20s as well then 26 in the Queen and 29 this morning in Mount Pleasant uh, just a light south breeze today wind should stay below 10 miles per hour but we do tap into that south wind today so temperatures this weekend on the chilly side should be much warmer today right around 70 both Shreveport and Texarkana this afternoon. And if you uh, miss 70 degrees today, likely you'll see some low 70s here on your Tuesday. So very strong storm system uh, now making its way down to the uh, Pacific Northwest coastline. This is the uh, storm that will be driving the cold front into the region here Wednesday night into Thursday. So uh, look at the severe weather setup for a storm prediction center. Three days out, they're going with that slight risk, and it's probable that we'll see a level three or an enhanced risk here, uh, maybe somewhere near or over the Arkeltex Wednesday night. So again, uh, scattered severe thunderstorms expected at this point. It's possible we could see some more widespread severe weather uh, as we go into Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. So let me time everything out for you just so you can get an idea of uh, what we're looking at here again today. Nothing but sunshine. Uh, tomorrow starting out with sun, ending the day with a few more clouds. And that's all that moisture kind of building in off the Gulf of Mexico ahead of that cold front. Now most of the day Wednesday will be dry and it will be late Wednesday, not till after sunset that we begin to see this cold front move in. So uh, this would take us to midnight as we go into uh, your Thursday here. So Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. This would be the line of storms here that could bring some high wind hail and uh, the way the setup's looking now possibility we do see a window for a tornado or two out ahead of this line and again that is a less certain threat for us uh, at this point but we know wind and hail will definitely be the most widespread threats for us and you see Thursday morning this swings through here pretty quickly so it does look like that severe weather window may close for us by the time we get to the uh, morning hours on Thursday or at least the uh, morning commute hours on Thursday but again some of the forecast models actually slow the front down and kind of bring that line in a little bit later on Thursday morning so there's still some timing discrepancies but I think uh, we've kind of narrowed it down to Wednesday night and Thursday morning and we'll continue to refine and kind of hone in those hours that we're watching here for the uh, potential severe weather. Uh, rainfall here, latest run of Futurecast moves the line through pretty quickly. So we're showing an inch or less. Uh, last few days have been showing the rainfall map. It's been about one to two inches. And I still think that's a possibility for us as well. So we'll get some decent rain out of this front and behind the front. Temperatures will drop off into the 50s on Friday, but we do dry out as we head into the upcoming weekend.